So these are the video clips to accompany the April edition of the Hilltop Cloud Non Wool Club. Um, we're going to work our way through all three fibres. Some of them have similarities with the fibres we spun last time, but there are a few differences. And the one that I recommend you start off with is the mulberry silk. If you've still got the tussle silk left from last month, I recommend you pull it out, take a look at it, compare the staple legs, compare how they feel. Personally, I do love mulberry silk because I love the extraordinary luster that it has. I mean, if you just look at it catching the light um, on the camera, it's incredible. And you can spin a yarn with that same level of shine. And the first thing you need to do is just pinch on the end, pull out a staple length, just like we've done last time, and take a look at it. That's how far apart your hands need to be as you're drafting. We're talking five, six inches. The staple length on, on mulberry silk is huge. I like to spin it straight from the end. No splitting, no pre-drafting, because what I find that that then gives me is a super, super shiny yarn. You don't need a massive amount of twist to hold this fibre together. You can almost treat it like you would a long wool. But, if you're going to use it for weaving, where you're going to have heddles, particularly the, the wire metal ones, rubbing up and down on it, what can sometimes happen to silk is it can start to pill. It will go fluffy quite easily. Um, but if you're only going to knit with it and you're only going to use it with a rigid heddle, I love the soft feeling that you can get from a relatively low twist silk yarn. It feels incredibly soft and cosy wrapped around your neck, more than you might think given that you're spinning actual silk. Um, and that's literally it. If I take it from the end and I just use a regular short forward draft, this back end here, I'm really not holding on very tightly. The only wet place that I'm holding on to it is actually my little finger, just like that. And that's what's giving me the drafting distance that I need. So although it looks like my hands are too close together, they're not as close together as they might seem. And what it's giving me is it's giving me a little bit more control over what's happening up by my drafting triangle in that I can turn my piece of top round incorporating fibres from different sides of the comb top. If you get into a mess the best thing to do stop, break it and then if you just do that with the end it magically realigns everything and makes it so that you can go ah that's the longest bit that's where I need to make my join and you can carry on. Um, I think mulberry silk needs to be spun relatively finely, anything too thick and it kind of, thick silk yarns are a bit, bit odd to try and use, probably up to about DK weight is as thick as I'd realistically want to do. So if I do a plyback sample with that, hold it up closer to the lens, hopefully gives you an idea about the amount of twists that I'm talking about and the thickness that this would end up as a spun yarn. So this one would be a lace weight.